Good morning, Bonnet and all. We back. Say what up, though. You gonna say hi to the people? Go east, there. I go, I go, I go. For real. East, there. Go, I go. go. Break it down, pop. Break it, break it, break it down, pop. It's your birthday. Who's one today? It's Easter's birthday today. <laughs> Me. Me. So first things first. It's raining. That's right. Rain. What's up, man? About to turn the TV on? You can do whatever you want to do today, sir. It's your birthday. You gonna say what's up to the people? They haven't seen you in a little bit, sir. Easton. You not gonna say what's up to the people? Today is gonna be his day. We have a birthday party for him today, later on. I'm excited. I'm not fully awake yet. Hey. Yeah. Thank God we changed the party to inside. Oh, yeah. Uh, first, we had his party for outdoor little birthday party. For what, last minute, mama? We changed it? We saw that it was supposed to rain today, which is doing a pretty good job at that right now. And we decided to have it indoors. Look what Gigi put. Happy first birthday to my grandson, Easton. He is definitely a blessing. I love him to death. Hope your day is full of fun and birthday cake. Love you, Gigi. Yay. Yay. That's Easton Daddy. Lord have mercy, Easton. What up, though? It's now one o'clock in the afternoon. This morning, man, we was half asleep still. It's been a minute since I've done this, and we had to go back to sleep. Easton wasn't even half asleep, so took a nap. Well, got breakfast, took a nap, and then woke back up. So now we up now. Like I told y'all earlier, it's Easton's birthday today. We are preparing for his birthday party later on. I am heading to the store real quick to pick up something and then head back to the crib and get dressed. It's a cloudy day. As y'all can see, super cloudy. The sun is peeking out just a little bit, so that's cool. Just chilling, excited. I, you know, my, my boy is one and I'm, man, I'm just, I'm just super just at all right now, man. It, it, one year has passed that quick. Crazy, crazy. Look at the birthday boy! Look at the birthday boy! Back up, back up, back up! Ain't nobody FaceTime you. Back up. Go get the ball. Go get the ball so they can see you. Go get the ball. It's right there. Get it. Go get it. You're not gonna get it? Mm -mm. No? Okay, that's fine. Thank you, Dad. Thank you, Dad. Thank you. All right. Can I see? Throw it. Throw it. Let me see. Ha! I got it. Ha! Ha ha! It's mine. <laughs> it's mine. What up, though? We back. <laughs> we about to go and start our day. Well, Easton's day. Happy birthday to my man's back there. We are on our way to the ATM, and then we are going to grab something to eat. Easton's party starts at 5.30, and it's gonna be held at this little, uh, this little event place that uh, Brett found on Instagram. Uh, it's pretty dope. It comes with all the accessories that a kid would want to do at a party. Uh, uh, it's for it. It one team. So you got bounce houses. Bounce houses. Play stuff, everything. Yeah, so the whole nine, they got it all and everything like that. Uh, all of his little cousins are gonna be there today too, so. Mm -hmm. Hey, Pop. We about to go ahead and grab this soul food. I haven't had soul food, y'all in quite some time, I, I think, 
It's been a while. So we're gonna get some bread and then break bread over mom's crib. Y'all haven't seen mom in a, <laughs> in a while too. She ain't changed. <laughs> Still old, same old mom's, man. So probably what about 45 minutes later. Uh, <laughs> it defeats the whole purpose of calling us. We called the we called the order in ahead. This is what grinds my gears about black owned businesses. Some, okay. The fact of the matter is this. We ordered our food over the phone to eliminate waiting time, right? Food looks good. I'm not gonna lie to you. We get to the restaurant. They said that it, it was out of catfish as soon as we got there. Alright, cool. We'll go ahead and get her some wings. Mom wanted catfish got the wing dinner instead right at this point i'm waiting five minutes you say right i'm like okay i proceed to wait some guy randomly pulls up in a challenger like a hellcat another black brother comes in there and he proceeds to go in the back where she's located where the register and stuff is at mind you when he pulled on the door it was locked right i'm thinking that he worked there and so I'm like, I'm still waiting, proceeding, waiting on the food. But now I'm alert because dog just came in. He spoke to everybody. He seemed cool. You never know nowadays, man, what's going on, right? So I'm standing there or I'm sitting there at the point. And when he when he started going to the door, I stands up. The lady, the cashier says, <laughs> he said, oh, I'm, Reese. I'm here to uh, either collect the money from the register or to watch the register or something he was saying. Now, mind you, I wasn't trying to really listen to the conversation at this point it's been longer than five minutes and it's not my business anyway but at the same time i'm very observant and i'm i'm alert for my own safety so i'm trying to figure out okay like maybe dog don't work here he probably own it you know what i'm saying because it is black owned and we right here off of eight mile y'all it's a lot of restaurants on the street so as he proceeds to talk to the lady he says to the lady the cashier oh, we can talk about this you know take care of the customer first the cook came from the back of the kitchen to let dog in. Now the cashier that's currently there says, I don't know you, I'm not gonna let you in. The dude says, well, dog in the back knows me. So she goes to get the cook, he comes and opens the door for him. So now I'm like, okay, dude gotta own this place or something, he knows, something. He knows the owner or something going on. Now the guy is back there with the cashier, along with the register, <laughs> and stands there. She's on the phone or Bluetooth. Well, I gotta figure out, I gotta figure this out. I gotta see who you are, cause I don't know who you are. Too late, I said, ma'am, I said, I just need my food. She said, oh, they can wait. Talk to the guy in the back, talk to the uh, the random guy. And when she said that, I took my glasses off. I said, uh-oh, hold up. I said, ma'am, I just need my food. I've been waiting here longer than five minutes. When she said they can wait, that's when I kind of like got a little bit upset. Now, mind you, I've been working on my temper a lot, y'all, over these years. I've been working on my delivery. I've been working on my attitude. Ever since Easton was born, ever since, actually, actually, ever since I got married, I've been working on those things. Now, when somebody tells me, she basically shoot me and said, Oh, they can wait. And did like that with her hand. I'm gonna tell you something. For that split second, I forgot where I was at. <laughs> I forgot why I was there. I forgot what day it was. I forgot everything. All I saw was her hand do that. Y'all, I said, I just need my food, man. The guy proceeds to tell her to go ahead and take care of the customer first. Customers all, the, the customer's always first. You always take care of the customers first. We discuss business after they leave. Uh-uh. I'm trying to figure out who you are. Now, I understand, again, I guess her safety comfort or whatever you want to call it. It was, was too late. It was too late, though. It, it, her her right. safety was first concern. But I told her, I said, ma'am, regardless if you wait now or not, you already let them back there. So... <laughs> We finally get the food, and here we are with mom's house, man. It, it was terrible. That was my first and my last time going there, unfortunately. But I, it's that's terrible. Terrible customer service. Terrible, uh, just, she ain't even speak to nobody when they was coming inside. It was just, everything was just horrible. Everything was horrible. But regardless, we about to bash this food and get ready for this birthday party. Yes, yeah, sir. The food is banging, but too bad they won't get our services anymore. What do you get? Rib tips. Rib tips. She got barbecue chicken, mac and cheese, and greens. It's cornbread, wow, too. Mom got the chicken wing dinner. Hmm. Mac and cheese and greens. Catfish probably good, too. Uh, well, say what's up, Mom? Hey. Look, we vlogging today. Mm 
So we made it to the birthday party. We're, getting ready. We're still setting up a little bit right now. I know the music is super loud, so that's gonna be a, that's gonna suck for the vlog, but I'll show you the cake in a minute and then we should be good. Pop up, look. Hi. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Ethan. Happy birthday to you. Yay! You're looking like, what the hell is going on? <laughs> Easton, look, Easton. Easton. <laughs> Easton. Look. Hey. Easton, look. Easton. <laughs> hey, birthday boy. You have fun today, sir? Say thank you. This dude been dancing all night. <laughs> we made it home. Yeah, so it's a lot of work for a one-year-old's birthday party. I, I can't see how those people that spend hundreds of dollars on, on a, on a one-year-old party, not judging, but it's a lot of work. And um, our party was very intimate and small. But nonetheless, my battery is about to end uh, because it's low from all the pictures and videos I took of him the day of the vlog. So we want to say thank you guys, everybody that showed up, uh, all the gifts, we thank you. The people that couldn't make it, we thank you. You feel me? But uh, yeah, Easton have fun. Happy one year old birthday, sir. Too many, many more is to come, right? Yeah, he over it. So he's about to get in the bathtub and take his butt to bed. It's about to rain. It's like the rain held off all night uh, until now. We want to say thank you to everybody that uh, played a role, man. Moms, thank you as always. Um, to the family, we thank you guys. Everybody that came out, Auntie, Uncle BJ, Brandon, thank y'all. Everybody that came out, show love. We had a very successful one-year-old birthday party. That's it. Mom, you got something to say to the people? Thank you. Yeah, I think Issa love y'all even more. Exactly. So until next time, love, peace, hair grease. Thank you, Dad. Thank you. <laughs>